It's just, I don't know, it's just the style. There's so many influences here that, you know. There was never an interest really sparked in it. I always felt like wearing things that express me. It's my worst nightmare turning up and saying thing as somebody else. <laughs> you are now. 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 You are now watching Gotham Galleria. No, it is. <laughs> Perfect. I'm David, I'm from Ohio. The Buckeye State, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what are you up to today? Today I'm just with my friend and we're just shopping around. Always looking for clothes. Always looking for the best clothes. I don't know, I guess I didn't really look for like celebrities for fashion, but just what people were wearing around me and kind of that makes sense. I Again, I shop secondhand mostly. Most of the stuff is secondhand. Um, and so I kind of really inspired kind of just these pieces pulling them together. Um, so yeah, inspired by everything and everyone. I mean, it's cheesy to say inspiration is everywhere. Scully, I don't know, my mom got this for me for Christmas. Shout out to um, mom. Right, exactly. <laughs> Denim trench I got um, secondhand from an L train. Uh, Levi's polo shirt, also secondhand from an L train. Japanese workwear pant, second hand from Bella's Vintage. She's in Williamsburg, check her out. What's um, feet? Shoes, Doc Martens. Right. Classic Ivy Park, love you shades? Beyonce. Hit me up with those tickets. Uh, the shades, oh, Amazon. Where's that from? This came from a shop that I think is now closed in Dumbo. It's time to rate the fit. On a scale of one to 10, how would you rate your own outfit? A seven out of 10. Ooh, okay, a little bit humble. A little, I'd have to knock it down a little bit. I don't want to be too cocky, but seven I like out of 10. it, I like it. <laughs> Instagram is uh, D underscore Tux. I'm Lou. I'm from London. <laughs> what brings you to the big apple? Ah, long story, man. I came to collect a vintage motorhome to oh, ship from America kidding, to the right? UK. Yeah. I used to live here and moved home, and I left it here, but I've come back to collect it because I'm taking it back to the UK. What are some of your fashion and style inspirations? Oh, so many. Myself, my friend over there, she's pretty cool. Iris Atfield, obviously. Accessories, accessories, accessories. More is more. <laughs> <laughs> they, what is it called? Maximalism, right? Oh, That's yeah. What I'm, it. I'm loving it. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Love the look. How would you describe your style? Unique, that's for sure. A lot of vintage. Where one off pieces no one else can get. For sure. It's my worst nightmare turning up and saying thing as somebody else. <laughs> I can imagine, right? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> the fuzzy hat was actually a gift from a friend who just thought I'd love it. It's vintage. She thought I'd love it. Versace. Thanks very much. Always time. got a good pair of sunnies on. All right. Oh, Melody Ashani, wicked. She's out of LA. She does some A stuff. Really okay. good jewelry. The jacket? The jacket's actually from Modern Affair from Australia. It's a Mongolian sheep. And it Ooh. bounces. And strangers <laughs> stroke you all day long. <laughs> the jumpsuit's old military one, vintage oh, wow. one. Kicks? Crocs, wedge crocs. Oh. The fanny pack I picked up in uh, New York somewhere on a previous trip. Oh, then where are these from? These are from Brighton in the UK. Who dresses better? People in London, people in New York City. Oh, we're just talking about that. I'm gonna, today I'm gonna go New York actually. So it's a tough call. It's a tough call. I think maybe they're more creative in London. For sure, with the vintage rules here. It's time to rate the fit. On a scale of one to 10, what score would you give yourself? Today I'm going an eight out of 10. Sure. I'm not dripping today, I wasn't, yeah. You are dripping, bro. <laughs> Can I get you to show your Instagram? Yeah, Lou and Lou Land. A self-love revolution, baby. My name is Chloe. And I'm from the Bronx. What do they call it? The boogie down? Yup. <laughs> <laughs> what are some of your fashion and style inspirations? Um, I would say my mom for sure. She's definitely one of the flyest people I know. I feel like I've always been around here in Soho and I feel like there's always been a lot of inspiration around here. Varsity jacket from Paxson. Shirt, Forever 21. Bag, Paxson. Denim, Zara the Jeans. And all the way fives. It's time of the video to rate the fit. So on a scale of one to 10, how would you rate your own outfit? I will give it a seven for a calm day. Can you share your Instagram? At ch.chloerivera. Hi, I'm Lori. And I'm from Queens. So what are you up to today? Nothing, I'm just shopping. I like to just be colorful and like be myself. What are some of your fashion and style inspirations? 
Tiana Taylor, Coyle Ray, or India Love. Okay, cool. I can see them rubbing off on you, right? <laughs> the hat, I got it in like a store in a mall. Denim set? Um, H&M. See the, the weak Timberlands, right, on the feet? Tell Feezy, right? Small <laughs> flag businesses, right? The vest, yeah. the puffer vest, where's that from? Um, H&M too. Yeah, I got it from Shein. You put it together so well. Thank Look, you. This is the part of the video where we rate the fit. Scale of one to 10. Let's take a look real quick. How would you rate your own outfit? I'm really in a 10 sitting. Before I let you go, do you mind sharing your Instagram? It's at Lori Monet. Hi, I'm Lisa. And I'm from London. So what are you doing here? Uh, well, I'm with this lady who bought the vintage bus and we're trying to get it back to England and that was the whole mission. So we didn't even attend to be in New York, but okay, here we but are. Did, what initially sparked your interest in fashion? Uh, music. First record was Let's Groove Tonight by Earth, Wind and Fire. All sorts, Human League, then Soul and Reggae, everything. Oh, Turban is probably from Tootin Market. The shades are from a little spot in Brighton called Snoopers Paradise. God knows, I have no idea, somewhere cheap and cheerful. Denim jacket, I don't know, vintage somewhere along the line. This is a girl I met who's a runner who actually did a project called LA Saves Track and she is ra raising money for a high school in LA to get their running track. Oh, up good back for her. Running. Yeah, yeah great she's a cause. badass and she is killing it. Uh, the denim? Uh, Levi's, I think. Okay, and then the oh, kids? No, you've got to see the socks. Oh, oh. E.T. E.T. E. 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 Yeah. is my main man in life and then obviously the addicts. It's time to rate the fit. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your own outfit? I would say a 4 today. Oh, because four. we thought we would be camping in Baltimore, but actually we're on the streets of New York. So, this is good as it gets. Oh, can I get you to share your Instagram? Yes, it's Olive Sterling. My name is Garfield. I'm doing what I do right now. Alright, we're going to just do this thing and um, we're going to make it organic. There was never an interest really sparked in it. I always felt like wearing things that expressed me. It's an inner thing where when you, when you are with it from a place of you knowing what you like, you knowing what you would wear, would wear and what you wouldn't wear, you know? And that's not like even like a fashion choice. That's just, to me, a moral choice in a way. <laughs> I had a fashion sense when I was in Jamaica, but there, it was very hard to express it because it, it, the, the lines were more divided. It's like you wore this to school, and then the only time you wore something that was really semi-fashionable was if you were going to church or a wedding. But when I came here, um, there was an initial awakening to what fashion was. You didn't have to wear this to school or you could wear that to school and there was a freedom in that way you know what i mean but it, it was really a thing where you know i really started to like get into um what you sort of had to get into if you were going to be who you were okay and that was who i was i was able to get into the at that point like within within means because the clothes were expensive relatively speaking the thing here's the thing that's what I'm saying. It's like, for me, right? My clothes are so eclectic and varied that they come from all different parts of my life. Like, I don't, I, I no longer go out clothes shopping. So it's like, I'll see something like this jacket. Woo! I just, I just bought this jacket the other day. And from I where? really, huh? From a flea market. But just seeing it, and I know this is the real deal. You know what I'm saying? I know it's a real deal. I All mean, right. it's, it's not a brand name, but it's a cut. It's yeah, a, it's a, it's, I, it's, I, it's I, it, of, it of be, the era. Yeah, it's of the era, and I'm familiar with it. Okay. Uh, this is a piece of uh, African material. I think it's from Ghana. These pants, I want a pair of these. Where are Yo, they from? Yo, you know, the same flea market, but I went there on another day. I, Which flea the market guy, is this? This is, this is, I'm not saying on camera. <laughs> gatekeeping. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gatekeeping, right? But uh, well, here's the deal. I bought them. The guy had like about four or five pair. Oh, I, got, I gotta get your number. No, out no, for this. but here's the thing. He had them, right? And I only picked up one. He was selling them for five bucks. Get the hell out of here. I got I, I'm getting your number after. Bro, 
I'm telling you, it was like I went back and he lo looked at me and laughed like. <laughs> so on a scale of one to ten, how would you rate your own outfit? It's off the scale, uh, naturally. Off the scale, exactly. It's naturally off the scale. 